Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2010 Mercedes-Benz S500. It's done just 15,800 kilometres since it was brand new. It is in absolutely immaculate condition. It's grey in colour with black leather interior and it is an update. So the W221 series came out in 2006 and was updated in 2010, which is this car. It's a short wheelbase. It's got heated seats, air-conditioned seats, night vision, memory electric seats are standard, obviously. But it's a low-kilometre car, which looks like it's barely been driven. Sometimes you find these low kilometre cars which they may not have travelled very far, they may not have been garaged, it could have sat outside someone's house for five years. Uh, this is absolutely not one of those vehicles. It's always been serviced by a Mercedes-Benz dealership. It's got navigation, Bluetooth, reverse camera. So there was a number of updates in 2010. Even little things like you open that to the left to dial people on your phone with the earlier one you actually pull it over your one it didn't work very well a lot of them snapped off and you've got a little step here for these switches you've got comfort and sport for the suspension and at the click of a button the car goes up by several centimeters it's got soft closed doors and a Harman Kardon sound system it does have the double glazed windows you can see there's two panes there which is good for insulation soundproofing I believe they reflect the UV light as well it's got the standard multi-spoke alloy wheels uh, with a lot of these cars people put 19 20 22 inch wheels on them which uh, look lovely for some people um, unfortunately what it does do is it puts a lot of unnecessary strain and pressure on all the suspension components um, to the extent where a lot of dealers wouldn't actually warrant the vehicle if it had issues with the suspension. The timber work is excellent. The leather is like new. Again, the back seat doesn't look like it's ever been sat in. There's the soft close there. It's got an electric boot. Um, and it is the very, very last of the 5.5 litre naturally aspirated V8. Just shy of 300 kilowatts. Um, the year after this, in the same shape, they had a 4.7 litre turbo. Um, not because there's anything wrong with the 5.5 litre, it was merely for emissions. So you'll find a lot more, there's a lot more cars that have been turbocharged in the past few years. And it's because you have a smaller, smaller displacement smaller motor you go from 5.5 to 4.7 and they turbocharge it so you've still got similar power so at the click of a button the boot goes away full size spare doesn't look like it's ever been out of the car either you've even got the med kit it's absolutely stunning i can't actually see a single mark or blemish on this vehicle whatsoever it would suit a collector it'd suit someone who just wants to buy a car for a fraction of the new car price and drive it every day. If you're in the Mercedes-Benz club, you could take it to Mercedes-Benz club event. I'm sure it would do very well you know, in a concourse. But the fact that you can buy an S500 with 15,000 kilometres for the same price as a, as a new Mercedes-Benz C-Class is remarkable. It does everything perfectly. I mean, even with 115 or 215,000 kilometres, this would still be a very impressive car. It also got the LED headlights, daytime running, uh, running lights. It's got Distronic cruise control. Up the windscreen, you've got your night vision. Um, these plates don't come with the car, just come with normal premium plates. I mean, for me, the S500 is the benchmark when it comes to luxury sedans. Um, I myself drive an S500, 
Richard drives an S500. And it's because no matter what car I drive, nothing is as smooth, quiet, as much of a joy to drive as the S-Class. A lot of people say, yeah, but you can, you can get a Lexus LS460 or an LS430. They're V8 and they've got lots of options. If all you want is buttons to press, they're great. If you actually want to be able to feel the road, if you want the car to put a smile on your face every time you drive it, then it's really got to be an S-Class. And with the later uh, Lexuses like the LS460s and things, they're not actually as reliable as they used to be. And I have found them to be quite plasticky. And I can talk about Lexus because I have owned Lexus LSs myself. LS400s and the like. Um, and look, and they are very good cars. If all you want is a lot of buttons to press, a bit of leather and a V8, and you want incredible reliability and minimal running costs, they're great. Um, having said that, Mercedes-Benz are also very cheap to run if they're well looked after. With something like this, it's really just brakes, tyres, fluids. You know, make sure your transmission fluid is clean. You know, a full seven-speed gearbox service is probably $400, $450. Pretty cheap insurance, really. What happens with a lot of these cars, they get driven up to 150,000 kilometres with the original gearbox fluid. It goes off. It gets burnt over time. stops doing its job, and that's when you have issues. So, same with the... Well, actually, I'll look under the bonnet. Same with the ABC system. I think this is just Airmatic. It's not a ABC automatic body control again make sure your fluids clean and the filters being changed and you shouldn't have issues with that either again what happens is the cars get to 150,000 kilometers these things haven't been done and it's too late again with a car like this with just 15,000 kilometers you can decide its fate you can see the engine bay is nice and clean It does appear to have the airmatic suspension, which is fine. The ABC is very complicated and has now been discontinued. I mean, if you look in here, see how clean the engine oil is? Look inside the motor. Normally, you'd have a whole lot of black carbon buildup. Wow, I've never, I don't think I've seen an engine that clean in a very long time. <coughs> Excuse me. It is simply stunning. <clears throat> if you want what I think is the best Mercedes 221 Series S-Class for sale, this is it. I'm sure you can buy S500s for $40,000, dollars $60,000. They'll either be a lot older, so they'll be the, the uh, pre-update, or they'll have quite literally 10 or 15 times the kilometres. So if you want to buy a particularly good car, this is a car you should definitely come and have a look at. If you want to buy a cheap S500, I'm sure they're out there as well. We can help you with finance. We specialise in European cars, mostly Mercedes-Benz. And I'll be certainly more than happy to help you with any questions you might have. Thank you so much for watching. And we look forward to hearing from you soon. We've been in business since 1994. We are the old-timer centre and we're only... 20 minutes from Sydney Airport.